Um, so with our one of our most senior from one of our most senior members of the team, we now want to call on a young Filipino. I just met him very recently. Um, he is the founder of a youth um, advocacy, uh, youth advocates for the Philippines, and he, um, you know, for such a young man, he has accomplished so much. He is, uh, I guess, a junior at De La Salle University, you no, know, studying um, uh, economics. Uh, no, development studies. Let's welcome Myrus Ponon. Myrus, please share your regalo sa bayan. Yes, of course. Um, good morning and good afternoon to all. Thank you so much, Ms. Rose. Um, to start, let me cite a stanza from Alex Laxon's beautiful writing entitled Akoy Filipino. I will read this in English for the sake of all. Entitled, I am Filipino, the beauty and richness of my country lured many mighty powers of the world to invade our shores. So today, my blood is a mixture of the best and finest of the West and the East. My mind is adhered to all the great thought of, thoughts of the West and the great virtues of the East. My heart beats with the romanticism of the West and the passion of the East. Now, ano nga ba ang regalo ko sa bayan? Ang regalo ko sa bayan or my gift to the country is always going to be the service that I have and the belief to continue to give to the country. As the founder of nonprofits that were mentioned earlier from Youth Advocates for the Philippines to the ASEAN Youth Advocates Network, as we did scale last year, and being a volunteer from the age of nine from experiencing poverty, but most importantly, by being a Filipino, understanding that it is only going to be the youth that will right the wrongs of the past for the better, to ensure the youth that is empowered, engaged, and participative for the de development of the country is that gift that I will continue to mold and sharpen as a youth advocate. I really hope that the youth that I believe should not only be dubbed today as the future, but also the present, to achieve national consciousness, or as we call Pambansang Kamalayan, to understand the country's history, because we do recognize that to understand the history is to create that better future. To, together with understanding the sacrifice of our heroes that have paved the way for our country where it is today, from embracing our diversity and differences, ensuring an inclusive and progressive country, and to be empathetic among vulnerable groups for all sectors. And of course, to understanding that needs will always be there. And I believe those five is what makes national consciousness come to life within the youth. To put simply, I will continue my work to ensure that my fellow youth loves the country, not only by word, but by action. Because of social media and because of the virtual space that we are in today, youth participation is merely only a theory, and it does require action. And so that is actually my why of establishing an organization for the youth, and we will continue to do that. My gift is to educate, advocate, and inspire the youth to volunteer to lead. You know, it's funny because we may know what the word community means, but we tend to forget what its definition is. A strong community has a shared vision, mission, and goal. And so I would always ask myself, does the country have that? Or are we going, are we, are we choosing to be more divisive? Let's have that unity that we do know that we all deserve. Because I believe the best gift to give is to bring others to recognize that the best gift is to have the ability to give gifts without expecting anything in return. Essentially, the gift of volunteerism and servant leadership to break the wrong cycles, such as this amazing application is doing and break the stigmas for an inclusive and sustainable country that we all deserve. Thank you so much and good morning and good afternoon to all. Oh, wow. Thank you, Myrus. My God, you know, hearing him speak really gives me hope for our country, having young people like him who will be, I would assume, you know, one of the future leaders of the Philippines um, gives me confidence that our country will be in good hands. So thank you. Um, 